Today we're going to be covering how to use the Sprint Wagner powder coating outfit with a Corona gun. Powder coating works through electrostatic principles. So we char charge the powder with a negative charge and the product is grounded. The negatively charged powder is then attracted to the product and it is adhered to the surface momentarily until it can be taken on to a curing oven, whether that's convection or infrared. Before we powder coat, the key thing with powder coating, because there is an electrostatic charge, is that everything must be grounded. You as the operator should be grounded, your equipment should be grounded, and your product should also be grounded. To ensure you have proper ground, you want to make sure your shoes are able to conduct any charge down to the earth to properly ground you out. You want to make sure your cord on your powder coating equipment has all three prongs intact. And you want to make sure that the wall outlet that you plug your unit into is also grounded into the earth. And there are tools that you can use to test whether or not the ground in your wall outlet is properly connected. The unit itself also has a grounding lug, a grounding cable that you can attach to a booth grounding device. In our case, we have the metal here, this lug here, that is connected to the earth ground, which is where I will connect this. You also want to make sure as the operator that you don't wear gloves, or if you wear gloves, they have to be conductive gloves, as your hand coming in contact with this gun, with the powder coating gun, allows you to properly be grounded. If anything blocks your hand from being in bare contact with this, you can build up a charge which can result in a static discharge. That can be a hazard as a, a spark can leap and depending on the situation could cause a flame or fire. So those are base, the basic principles you need to know to get ready to use this unit. We'll go ahead and start the unit up. There's a power cord on the back power button on the back that's your main power disconnect that has to be on and then there's also a button on the front of the unit. We'll zoom in shortly to show you all the unit's controls. You have to have air, compressed air, which will drive the pickup tube that feeds powder to the powder coating gun. And there's a connection behind the unit here. Go ahead and bring that over. So you can see here, we connect the airline to the unit from the wall with compressed air, and then we can show you the front of the unit as well. I'll go over the controls here so you can see the basic panel and options you have. These are presets for the unit that come from the factory. They're used in the variety and majority of your powder coating applications. The first setting is your universal powder setting. It's good for flat surfaces and for most powder applications. It has a high KV, allowing for you to be able to convey media most effectively to flat and larger surfaces. The second setting is another preset setting that allows for you to do a recoat if you need to. Recoating is when you may have excessive powder on a surface already, or you might have already baked a small coat of powder on, and you need to be able to apply an additional coat of the powder, this will allow for that to occur relatively easily. The third setting here is for areas where we have a lot of corners or recessed areas. When you're powder coating, an issue can occur called Faraday cage effect, where powder is attracted to the edges of a corner and does not penetrate into the corner because the ground is, is closest at the edges. This setting on the presets helps to deal with that issue. The final setting, this fourth setting, that's a preset from the factory, is a setting that's relatively good use for small parts. So once you're plugged in, you have your powder tube set in the media, not all the way at the bottom of the box. You could go ahead and turn the unit on, and you'd start on your first preset, which is the most common. And that would be what you use in 90% of your powder coating applications. Your product needs to be grounded. 
So we have a true earth ground that we use on the product. And then you, you can powder coat from there. We'll show you what that looks like here. You hold the gun approximately 6 to 12 inches from the target. And you spray it till you feel confident that you've covered the product appropriately. You would flip it and do the other side to ensure even coverage. We'll come down here to the control panel so we can go over some of the settings as well. So on the control panel, as we mentioned, the presets will be what you use most of the time. If you pull the trigger twice, it automatically goes down here to the fourth setting. That can be helpful if you have a lot of products with Faraday or cage issues or you need a certain setting routinely other than the standard factory top setting and you want to be able to access it in the middle of powder coating, this gun will allow you to automatically go there by using a double trigger pull. So you can see here I'm on that setting. You can adjust KVs on, at any time as well. This is your KV setting. This is your microamp setting. In general, the higher the KV, the greater the attraction the powder has to a target, but can also have issues with Faraday cage versus microamps when we can have high microamps and KV. That will give us the greatest attraction overall. The unit will adjust KV and microamp as you get too close to a potential product to prevent shorting out. It can make it actually hard to get this unit to short out. You also have here your powder to air ratio control. This allows you to determine how much powder versus air you want in your mix. You typically don't want excessive powder in your air as it can create too much coating on the product at a time. And you, so you typically the factory setting is good, but if you do need to adjust it, the option is there. Down here we have the res recipe options beyond the standard four. The unit offers up to 50 programmable recipes that you can set individually for your specific needs. You first select a program and then you can set the KVs, microamp. This is what we call a, a this is how fast the unit adjusts the KV and microamp as it approaches a grounded target where if you're having issues where you are moving in and out of a, near a target and it's grounding out too quick, you can reduce the, the rate at which that change in KV and microamp occurs to help reduce issues related to grounding out due to being in and out up close to a potential product uh, too often. Those are most of the settings on the unit. Like I said, up to 50. You can see here we're cycling through different programs, and as you set them, it holds those in memory. When you're done powder coating, you can move the pickup tube out of the media or out of your powder, like so. Now that we have that out, we can purge the powder gun using this button here which will remove any powder out of the gun. Once we're fairly confident that we've purged the majority of the powder out of the tube, we could go ahead and change colors if needed, or consider our day done for now and put the unit away. That's primarily how you use the Wagner Sprint powder coating outfit.